Number four! Professor Doom's embarrassingly inept analysis of official documents. Professor Doom's analysis of official documents is embarrassingly inept. We'll get to the embarrassment later. First, let's hear him out. Professor, please begin. So, let me get on now with my very first document here that I want to show you. This document here is from the Connecticut State Police. And you will be able to see here in their reports, and a lot of these reports were just from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the Connecticut State Police was reporting what the FBI had reported to them. Well, he is looking at the actual case file, so I like him so far. Better than some other people I could name from this documentary. So I'll give Professor Doom a point. All right, you were saying. And in this report here, it goes on to state thus. The shooter schooling began at Sandy Hook Elementary School. All right, I'm deducting a point. And that's for distorting the truth. In fact, I'm deducting the entire point system because you distorted the truth when the truth was clearly visible at the time you tried to distort it. The full explanation reads, Report number 49 documents an interview conducted on December 14th, 2012. The interviewee seemed to be able to provide more information than most others regarding the shooter, according to the subject interview. The shooter schooling began at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Compare that context with the misrepresentation that the Professor Doom uses to introduce the same information. And in this report here, it goes on to state thus, the shooter schooling began at Sandy Hook Elementary School and moved on to Newtown Middle School for 5th and 7th grades. Around 7th grade, the shooter moved to St. Mary's School and then moved to Newtown High School, where he completed 9th grade. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. It, meaning the official report, does not say that here. It says, very clearly, that an interview subject on the day of the shooting at Sandy Hook seemed to be able to tell more than most people regarding the shooter. It does not, and I cannot emphasize this distinction enough, it does not say that this information provided by the witness is to be considered accurate nor exhaustive. These are serious investigators. They are not going to rely upon on-the-spot recollections from one person to establish a concrete timeline of the shooter's education a decade after it actually took place. No responsible person would do that. Professor Doom does that. In fact, it's the entire basis for his argument, except for the fact that he never actually makes an argument. It's apparent that Mr. Doom has a respect for the general concept of a document. The word itself, document, seems to convey expertise to him, and thus expertise from him when he says the word, document. I suspect that's why he says it so many times. The police have a responsibility to track down actual records and compare them with witness statements. Both are documents, but they are not the same thing. And indeed, the next file that Professor Doom shows is evidence that the authorities did their due diligence in verifying these sorts of claims. The opposite of what Professor Doom does, which is to use witness statements to indirectly imply that verifying records are somehow false. This document here was written up by Rachel Van Ness after they requested permission from Adam Lanza's father, Peter Lanza, to obtain all school records for Adam Lanza from Newtown, Connecticut. And the only school that is mentioned here or in any other documents where records were to be obtained and the only school listed is St. Rose of Lima School and it states here. Number 355, St. Rose of Lima School records pertaining to Adam Lanza. Didn't we just see in the very first document that I presented that the only schools that were mentioned were Sandy Hook, Newtown Middle, St. Mary's, and the high school? There is no mention in that document at all that Adam Lanza ever attended St. Rose of Lima School. The file he refers to as that document is again not a record of the shooter's educational history, but instead is the recollection of one person remembering another person's educational history with no preparation whatsoever. Rather than treat it as such, Doom regards it as gospel and draws every single one of his conclusions from this extremely tenuous assertion. 
So why is it that they are making the claim that he attended Sandy Hook when this document and Peter Lanza refute that claim? And they are specifically requesting school attendance records for St. Rose of Lima only and no other school at all. The argument that Professor Doom presents, but will not own up to, likely because it is so feeble and ridiculous on its face, works like this. Number one, the interview subject in the first document did not mention St. Rose of Lima in their list of schools the shooter attended. Number two, the file transfer record specifically mentions St. Rose of Lima and does not specifically mention Sandy Hook Elementary. The file transfer record is thus wrong in its inference that Lanza attended St. Rose of Lima. See number one. Because one file is proven wrong in this comparison regarding St. Rose of Lima, the other file is thus wrong regarding Sandy Hook Elementary. Ignore the implication that the disproving document from number two is also established as being incorrect by this argument. Conclusion. Adam Lanza never attended Sandy Hook Elementary School. <laughs> Continuing with Doom's argument, he claims that if this investigation was of a real crime with a real suspect, we would have seen these kinds of subpoenas for educational records from each of the schools that the unnamed witness mentioned. Sandy Hook Elementary, Sandy Hook Middle, Reed Intermediate, and Sandy Hook High, as well as St. Mary's School. Instead, all we have is a request for records from St. Rose of Lima. The neurons are almost firing in Doom's brain here. There was a moment of hope when I first saw this documentary that maybe he was about to reach a reasonable conclusion. Because indeed, one of these schools is not like the other. <laughs> Tragically, for me and anyone else who sat through this compost heap of a documentary, he fails to reach the intelligent, reasonable observation. There is a separate line item for St. Rose of Lima school records, and not these other schools, because St. Rose of Lima is a private school. Sandy Hook Elementary, Sandy Hook Middle, Reed Intermediate and Sandy Hook High are public schools. The state of Connecticut did not need to request the records from those schools because it doesn't need a subpoena to access information that it already has. See this line above the mention of St. Rose of Lima? It reads, educational records including PPTs from 1st through 11th grade pertaining to Adam Lanza, the shooter. Thus, this evidence transfer record simply indicates that the records from St. Rose of Lima, number 355, are a separate file from the educational records, number 332. These file numbers are in chronological order of when they were entered by the party creating the initial investigative record. So this shows that records from St. Rose of Lima were obtained later than the other schools, and it's reasonable to conclude that the planning and placement team didn't have those files, which is not very surprising given that the shooter only attended the school for eight weeks. I would now show supporting evidence that investigators had to obtain records from St. Rose of Lima separately from the rest of the shooter's school records, but Professor Doom helpfully already has that file ready for me. He just doesn't have a lucid understanding of its significance. Now I want to show you the next document, and I want to remind you I've poured through every document that they presented for researchers. And there was, and we're talking over over a thousand of these documents. And the only document that reports a, a an official request by subpoena for the school records of Adam Lanza was made to St. Rose of Lima. St. Rose of Lima school records subpoena served. On 1-2-2013, I served Principal Mary Rose Maloney with a subpoena for Adam Lanza school records. And they claim that they did, in fact, receive the school records. How come, in none of these documents, is there any request by subpoena for the school records of Adam Lanza from Sandy Hook Elementary, from Newtown Middle School, or from any other school for that matter? Hey, dummy, they're right here, in that document you showed 20 seconds ago. The cops already have those records. None of this is suspect. Quite the opposite. It shows that investigators were thorough, recognized gaps in the suspect's timeline, even very small ones such as this, tracked down the missing information and added it to the record. Look, there are errors in the official report. All investigations have errors, but this isn't one of them. The error was in one person, remembering a school another person attended seven years ago for eight weeks as St. Mary's instead of St. Rose. Rather than recognize that person's simple and very minor mistake, Professor Doom latches onto it and runs as far as he possibly can with it. That's what this entire embarrassingly inept segment amounts to. Because after that, it just ends. 
and that seems to be in complete contradiction to the document stating by the Connecticut State Police and the Federal Bureau of Investigation that Adam Lanza attended Sandy Hook Elementary School. Doom's head just waggles back and forth and says nothing, and then he's done. I'm guessing that the filmmakers had planned for Professor Doom to dub over here whatever his point is, his specific argument that he is making as to what any of this alleged missing evidence amounts to. But 